All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at a second order half life problem using the second order integrated rate law. So that's this right here. And so let's just go ahead and what we're looking for is we're looking for the half life of some species A, right? So we don't know what that is. Let's say we have an initial concentration of uh, 0.2 molar. And we'll give it a K value of, uh, let's say, 12.5 um, per molar per second, right? And these units are important because these are the units of a K value for a second order problem, a reaction. Okay, so we know the initial concentration is 0 0.2. We know we're looking for half-lives. So the final concentration in this part that we're looking at just has to be half of the initial. So that's just 0 0.1 molar. All right, so now what we can do is we can just plug in all our values into our equation and just find out what the half-life is. So we have 1 over A at T. So we're going to have 1 over 0 0.1. This is going to be minus 1 over 0 0.2. This is A naught, 0 0.2. Um, we know we can divide that whole side by K, right? We can just move that K down here, right? And this is going to equal our half-life, T at 1 half. All right, so we can uh, work through this a little bit more. 1 over 0 0.1 is going to be equal to uh, 10. 1 over 0 0.2 is equal to 5, so this is 10 minus 5 over K, and we said K was 12.5. Um, I guess we can put in our units 12.5 this was molar molar this is molar minus 1 times second minus 1 okay perfect so anyways this is equal to our t at 1 half or our half life so we have 10 minus 5 this is just 5 divided by 12.5 if you punch that in your calculator we're going to get t at 1 half is going to be equal to about 0 0.4 seconds Okay, so that's our half-life uh, when we started at this concentration of 0 0.2 moles per liter. So let's see, um, let's see what happens if we take the next half-life. So we're going to be starting with this, uh, this concentration here, 0 0.1 molar. So we can fill this in here as our A naught. This will now become 0 0.1 molar. Half of that will be 0 0.05 molar. Uh, still looking for this, and this is still 12.5. Let's do units, second minus one. Okay, so we, we saw in the last two videos that um, for zero order half-life problems, the half-life gets twice as fast, you know, each time we take the half-life. Um, for the first order, it stays the same. And so we're gonna see what happens now, um, what happens when we go take the second half-life now here and there on. So anyways, let's do this again. Let's plug in all our values again. So we have, this will be now one over 0 0.05 minus 1 over 0 0.1 and again this is over k this is over 12.5 um, and this is equal to our t at 1 half so 1 over 0 .00, uh, 0, sorry, 1, point, 1 over 0 0.05 I can't talk right now um, this is going to be equal to 20 minus 1 over 0 0.1 you know that's 10 and again, we have this is over 12.5. So we have now, well, we can write this as just 10 over 12.5 is equal to our half-life, t at 1 half. And so we can write that uh, t at 1 half is going to be equal to 0. Point, this is about 0. 0.8 seconds. So the first half-life was 0. 0.4. The second half-life is 0. 0.8. If we keep doing this, we're going to keep seeing that the half-lives keep getting twice as long each time for a second order half-life problem. 